Here we go, the first of our Monday's soft tip dart reviews. Today we're featuring the Harrow's Cerro King 2. Should be a great review. Here we go. What's up guys, Worldwide here. Welcome to the first Monday soft tip darts reviews. Now I gotta admit, I'm not hugely popular into soft tip anymore. I did play quite a bit in the past, but as far as YouTube goes, I'm, I think the majority of you prefer a steel tip video. But I think we can all admit, especially you guys over in the UK, soft tip is gaining a bit of traction. Obviously, it's popular here in the United States. It's getting more popular overseas where you guys in the UK. Definitely popular in places like Spain and in Japan. These guys are treated like superstars. And speaking of Japan, today we're going to be taking a close-up look at the Harrow's Cerro King 2, designed and used by Takiro Suzuki. And this guy truly is a superstar over in Japan. So I figured it would make for a great video. And if you bear with me over the next couple months on these Mondays, I have some incredible soft tip darts lined up. I think it's going to make it worthwhile. But the funny story, how I came across getting these darts, I was browsing Amazon USA one day and I saw them listed for like $49. And I'm like, hmm, I think they cost quite a bit more than that. I went and uh, did a quick search on AZ darts. Sure enough, $135, but of course that's like the American inflated price. I went and checked the real price over at Darts Corner and these things were still like $85. So I just, I didn't know what was going on at Amazon USA. Maybe these were listed at the wrong price. So for whatever reason, 50 bucks, I thought these were well worth a review. So here we go, let's get these things put together. We'll take a close up look over some stats and dimensions, and then I'll take them to the board and give you a little bit of feedback as I'm throwing them. So here we go. Okay, here we go. The Harrow's Cerro King 2 darts, designed and used by Takiro Suzuki. And there he is on the back of the box here. And you know, since you're right here on YouTube, after you're done watching this video, check out some of his matches. He is always smiling throughout the entire match. This guy seems like probably one of the happiest dart players there is. His sportsmanship and respect for the game is second to none. Overall, just seems like a great guy. But yeah, I love the fact that he smiles throughout his entire matches. But look at that case. Absolutely beautiful. And it slides open to reveal everything inside. These barrels are so beautiful. We'll get a close-up look at their, uh, these in a second. But we have our Sarah King 2 barrels. It comes with two sets of soft tip points. We have our Super Grip stems, medium length, and the Sarah King standard size Harrow's flight. But let me get these things put together, and we will go over some stats and dimensions. Okay, there we go, all put together, stock out of the package. And you know, again, I'm not really big into soft tip darts, but you have to admit, this is a beautiful, beautiful dart. I mean, the coloring, everything there. Wow, I just think that looks incredible. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. But running down some stats and dimensions, these are a 90% tungsten barrel. The barrel length coming in a rather short, 39 millimeters long. And the barrel width at the maximum spot right here on the smooth section, 7.6 millimeters wide. Now, as far as the advertised weight, it says on the box, 19 gram barrel. And this is where it might get a little confusing for those of you steel tip players that don't realize. Soft tip darts are generally sold as total weight. So that includes point, barrel, stem, flight. Now this, these did say 19 grams on the box and the actual weight was 19 grams. And I mean dead spot on, 19.00 grams. But the total weight here was 21 grams. And again, point, barrel, stem, flight. So 21 grams overall. And that's where it can get a little confusing because, you know, like I said, soft tip darts are generally sold by total dart weight. Instead of steel tips, we just go by barrel weight. So anyway, I hope that didn't confuse you anymore, but let's get a close-up look at these beautiful barrels. Okay, there we go. Nice close-up look at the barrels there. And check out the back end of the barrels. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. You know, it almost reminds me of a spider web, right? Kind of looks like a web design. And you know, it's very typical of a Japanese type soft tip barrel where you have an amazing amount of grip on the back end, but then the middle to the front of the darts are relatively smooth and no exception here. Now, speaking of the grip, I'm going to have to give these a level three and a half grip on a scale of one to five. The back end of these barrels have a huge amount of bite and I'm a rear gripper. So that's where I'll be gripping these things. But what do you say we get them on the board? and see how they fly it. I'm not quite sure what setup I'm going to use yet. I haven't thrown these yet, 
So I'm going to warm up for a little bit and find out what setup I'm going to go with. But here we go. Let's see how they fly. Okay, here we go. Just a few throws with the Harrow's Cerro King 2. And I'm going to be using the completely stock supplied setup. And what I think is going to surprise most of you steel tip players is that you can use soft tip points on a steel tip board. And believe it or not, it's actually more gentle than using steel tip points because the plastic points aren't going to damage your wire whatsoever. And as long as you're using a fairly um, new dartboard, there shouldn't be too many issues with the darts falling out. They stick in the board really well. And uh, obviously it depends on the points that you use, but most of the points stick in really well. And it's actually kind of like using those uh, 180 reflex points where it it's really springy when it hits the board. But yeah, these things throw okay. I mean, the barrel is, it's really short, 39 millimeters long. So it will take some getting used to. I've only been warming up here for about five minutes. But the back end of these darts where I'm gripping are extremely grippy. Definitely a level three and a half grip like I mentioned earlier. And they are standing up in the board ever so slightly. But yeah, I mean, it's actually a really nice dart, just something that I would never use, something this short and this fat or this wide. But the supply setup, I mean, as you see there, I don't know how many turns I've already thrown, but man, I'm burying that treble 20. First dart. Oh. <laughs> that one sprung a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of funny to see these things hit the board. All right, last throw here. Ooh. <laughs> that was my dartitis kicked in. I really hitched my shoulder there quite a bit. Bullseye. There we go. Great place to end it there. But... You know how we do on this channel. We do have one more clip for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, ho, ho. boom, get in there. There we go. First. Soft tip 180. Well, not my first, but first in the series anyway. Well, there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed the close-up look at the Harrow's Cerro King 2 Takiro Suzuki darts. Please feel free. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up on your way out the door. And as always, guys, we will see you on the next video. Later. Thank <laughs> you.